Well, howdy do there, my fellow MailMate users. This is Matt Petrowski. I'm actually creating this video about MailMate, one of my most favorite programs because I have to deal with mail and dealing with mail is a hassle, but MailMate makes it much easier. And what happens is uh, I like to use MailMate and I like to shoot videos about how you can use MailMate. I created a full series in 2016 of about 13 videos to get you started with MailMate. This is going to be a feature that we can take a look at that was recently added. The developer's always adding new features and it's absolutely wonderful. The feature we're taking a look at is email address extraction, grabbing email addresses and doing group replies. Now, as I switch over to MailMate, our whole goal is here, let's say we've got a scenario where we use a, an online email provider, it doesn't matter what it is, MailChimp, a MailRocket, if that even exists, Aweber, you basically send out to a few hundred people or maybe a few thousand people, you get some replies in your mailbox and you want to be able to get those senders, either their names and their addresses or their addresses only, or you want to reply to all of those people and that's what we're going to take a look at how easy it is to do in MailMate. All right, now the first thing I don't want you to be confused about is basically all of the gobbledygook that you see on screen. This is my actual uh, email account, my email box, my MailMate account. Uh, there is a feature that you will find here under the view menu that is this one right here of distortion mode. So what this allows me to do is to obscure all of my email, all of the content, and basically just show you the features as they exist. Now what we're interested in is the, the ability to send to a bunch of people. So in our scenario, we've sent out an email and we want to be able to select either individual emails of people that we want to reply to, or we want to be able to select just a range of people and we want to reply to all of those people. Now here is the cool thing. This is automatic and it's built into MailMate. I remember using uh, Apple Mail before I had switched to the browser-based Gmail, then coming to MailMate, and I had to write an Apple script. And not everybody knows how to write an Apple script in order to extract all of the addresses, then put them in a comma delimited format ready to put into a new email message. You can find that type of Apple script to work with Apple Mail or what have you, but it's not built into the program. Now in MailMate, there are these things called bundles, which under the command menu, as I zoom in here, what you're going to find is a number that I have turned on. Now I have Mac Vim, it's an editor that I like to use, OmniFocus, a popular uh, application for task management, Sublime Text, these are applications that I use. These will not be turned on by default in your copy of MailMate, but I'll show you how to turn them on. MailMate will be available to you, and you can see right here on screen that we have our all valuable features. Now the copy sender addresses, I believe was recently added. I don't know which ones did or did not exist. In fact, I didn't even know that this option was right here, which basically what happens is when you select this, it will take all of the sender addresses, uh, full sender names actually, sender name and sender addresses of whatever you have selected and it'll create a new message with all of those senders, taking care of the duplicates for you. It's brilliant. It is a single command that you can execute in order to actually have that happen. Now you can see right here that the key is actually uh, control in, and all you have to do is basically hit that control in, and because there's multiples, what will happen is when it comes up, MailMate will give you the prompt. We can see that right here by selecting that, doing a control in, and then you can see that the prompt comes up right here to send a new message to the correspondence. I don't know exactly what, the, I'll have to try that out. But new message to senders is basically everybody who sent you an email, it would create a new message for all of the senders. Now, sometimes you want to be able to get this information into a database or you want to take it somewhere else. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at. But just before we do that, I wanted to make sure and show you how you turn on those bundles. Looking at the preferences, you're going to find you may default onto the general tab or one of the others, but we are looking for bundles right here the bundles is going to show us a list of the applications, and I believe a lot of these are hosted over at GitHub, 
of applications that you can use in order to coordinate from within MailMate with those applications. So this is brilliant. You get to control what you want to control. Of course, if you are a developer and of that scale, and then there's not an application that's supported, you can simply look into the documentation and probably create one for yourself. So turn on what you are interested in using and see how MailMate can actually integrate. So here's our objective. We want to get a list of all of the either sender name and address or just the address only. We want to be able to take it into a database and not have duplicates. Now, when we use that feature, if I select a bunch of items right here, just a whole range, and if I go up to that command again, go to the MailMate menu, the new message to senders, to recipients, to correspondents, I believe that removes duplicates automatically, but copying senders and sender addresses, uh, subjects if you want, and I don't know why you might, but who knows, but we're always dealing with people, but copy sender addresses and copy senders is really cool because everything that's selected gets put onto the clipboard. So as I copy the senders and I zoom out, I'm going to switch over to Sublime Text, create a new document, and I will paste in all of the information. Now within here, we can see quite clearly that we have some duplicates. If I take a look right here, in fact, if I highlight this, uh, Sublime Text is going to show me that I have one here and I also have one here. So I do have duplicates that are being taken. So maybe we can talk Benny into uh, removing those duplicates for us. But here in Sublime Text, if you're a developer or if you're uh, just a regular user using Sublime Text, there are commands that will allow you to do things in order to remove uh, duplicates. For example, here in Sublime, I like that I can select all and I can bring up my command palette and I can basically sort the lines if I wanted to see how many duplicates I have. And so there I've got a number of duplicates for that particular one. But I can also uh, basically remove or put in a unique. So in the world of Unix Linux, there is this uh, ability to do this thing where you can take uh, inbound content, pipe it, and it will look like this on the command line. Just for those of you that are interested, you would take your results, you would pipe them to sort, and then pipe them to unique. Uh, and that's on the command line within Unix, Linux, and your Mac. But here, what I can do is I can actually just type in uh, unique, and this will permute, uh, permute or walk across all of the lines and take out and leave me with all of my uniques. Now, all I would need to do is basically find a character Maybe let's say something like the uh, little less than sign. And I would be able to replace that with whatever I want. In this case, I can use regular expressions here. And I can put in a tab and then that. And I can replace all of those. And so what I've just done is I've converted all of those addresses that I was able to grab. And I've put them into a tab delimited format ready to Import. I do have some spaces I can see right here that are extra, but I would be able to trim those and uh, do whatever I want. Key thing being here, I can basically get at my data straight from within MailMate, and it makes it extremely easy to do that. I can just select whatever I want, select a command within the MailMate menu, and I am good to go. So that's what I have for this video. If you like MailMate, then I highly suggest that you go over and check out being a sponsor. This is not a super big mail application. Obviously, people can get Apple Mail for free. You can get Gmail for free. An email application can be had for free. But those email applications, I kid you not, they will never be able to do what MailMate is able to do in terms of increasing your productivity and your efficiency. So take a look at the other videos that I created. I'll put a link to them in this particular video and have a QWERTY day. Go out and learn some stuff. Be nerdy and bang it out on the keyboard. You got it. Until next time, this is Matt Petrowski.